Hallo liebe ID-Bass-Freunde, mein Name ist Alissa Stein und ich darf euch heute das neue mehrteilige Serienformat von Volkswagen Nutzfahrzeuge vorstellen, die ID-Bass Talks. In jeder Folge darf ich Unternehmen, Projekte und Menschen kennenlernen, versuche etwas Spannendes herauszufinden und natürlich, was sie mit dem ID-Bass zu tun haben. Freut euch auf abwechslungsreiche Folgen und für diese Reisen habe ich von Volkswagen Nutzfahrzeuge diesen schönen ID-Bass zur Verfügung gestellt bekommen. Wir beide sind bereit, also let's go! Heute geht es für mich nach Dänemark und genauer gesagt nach Ringköping, denn dort sitzt die Firma Vestas und was Vestas mit dem ID Bus Cargo zu tun hat, das erfahren wir heute. Hier sind wir also jetzt bei Vestas in Ringköping und ich habe jetzt gleich eine Verabredung mit der lieben Susanne und ich bin mal gespannt, wie viel Zeit sie jetzt für mich hat. Hi Alissa. Hi Susanne. Hi. Hi. Oh, welcome to Ringköping. Thank you so much and nice to finally meet you in person. Yeah, you too. You need to put this vest on before okay. we go to a little trip around Vestas. Perfect. Thank you so much. I will put it on. Okay. So. Where are we okay. going? We're going this way. Perfect. Okay. Then let's go. Hello. Susanna, I'm really curious. Could you tell us what Investors is actually doing? Well, here at Investors, our core business is actually to service, develop, install Investors turbines all over the world. Wow, worldwide. And you are actually a fleet coordinator here at Investors. Yeah. What is the fleet coordinator doing? Yeah, well, my job as a fleet coordinator is to order service vehicles to all our service technicians. Why do they need a car? Could you tell us more? Yeah, well, they need a car for all the tools to go up in the turbine and do that job every day. Well, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Tell us about the vision of Vestas. Well, Vestas' vision is to become the global leader in sustainable energy solutions. And um, now we're here in Ringköping. Mm -hmm. What happens here? Yeah, we're well, right here at uh, in Ringköping. We are producing nacelles, and we also produce one of the biggest turbines we have. Please tell me what is a nacelle. Well, the nacelle is uh, the house on top of the tower of the wind turbine. Ah, I see. Okay, okay. Now I've learned something. Okay. I'd like to talk a little bit more about sustainability because I've read that your claim is sustainability in everything we do. How is that to be understood? Yeah, well, that's the name of our strategy and it consists of four pillars. And the number one pillar is to become carbon neutral by 2030 without any offsets. How is sustainability reflected in your vehicle fleet? Yeah, well, well, it's reflected by that we have the entire fleet. We have to get exchanged from diesel vehicles to electric vehicles. Wow, that sounds like a huge task to me. And I can imagine there were some challenges that you had to overcome. Which challenges were there? Yeah, well, we had some challenge. Uh, and of course, that was the space and the weight limit. And also the kind of um, change the people's mind uh, set. Ah, okay. about this car. Of course, because people always also have to rethink their exactly. daily work, right? Yeah, exactly. And that uh, was one of the hardest things. But how did you overcome those prejudices and those mindset changes? Yeah, well, we had a workshop with Volkswagen commercial vehicles and also some of our technician guys to talk about getting uh, the guys to get comfortable with the electric uh, van such as uh, the ID bus. And now do you have a complete all-electric fleet? Uh, no, not yet. Uh, in Vestas we have approximately over 5,000 vehicles all over the world. Really interesting, but now I'm so curious to meet someone who is driving a service van every single day. So let's meet someone who is actually driving an ID bus cargo. You can meet my colleague Thomas, he's working right here in a nearby wind farm. Perfect, love that. Okay, come on. So, die brauche ich jetzt erstmal nicht mehr, deswegen kann ich nämlich hier hin, weil ich habe gerade die Adresse von Thomas bekommen. Er ist Servicetechniker hier bei Wessers und ähm, wir lernen ihn jetzt mal kennen und fahren zu ihm. Hallo! Hi! Hi there! Hi! I'm Alyssa. 
I'm Thomas. Nice, nice to, to meet you, Thomas. Hi. Yeah. I'm Rasmus. Hi, Rasmus. I'm Alyssa. So I hope I did everything correctly. I have my vest yeah. and I parked reverse. It looks super nice. Yes, Very everything good. correct. Yeah. Cool. Tell me more. Where are we currently? Right now we are at a warehouse in uh, Nørhed, Vestas Warehouse. We have our drop point here. Mm -hmm. We uh, get all the stuff we need for the turbines. What is your daily job then? Uh, my daily job is a service technician. So I do uh, the annual service on, on all the turbines you see in the background. Yes, I've already seen yeah. many on my way here. Yeah. But now I would like to know more about what's happening here. So could we yeah, go inside? Of so tell me, what do we see in here? Here is where we receive all the parts uh, to fix the turbines, mm -hmm. uh, service and uh, troubleshooting. So we have uh, all the incoming here and uh, then we have a storage room as well and we grab the stuff we need and go to the turbines. And what does a typical workday look like? We start in the morning, we meet up at the warehouse and then uh, we find out what assignment we have today and then we start uh, packing the car for the job. So maybe because you were talking about the car, yeah. could I have a look inside? Yeah, sure. Perfect, then let's go to the car yeah. and you show me more. How important is it for you? Well, it's, it's uh, both for transport and it's our office. Uh, office. Yeah, we do all the paperwork uh, for the turbine. We do in the car as well. We have our storage, uh, lunch room, everything <laughs> is in the car. So you spend some quite, uh, time yeah. in here, okay. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so Thomas, what's new with this car? We have a new improved ragging system here. Of course, we have the charger. Mm -hmm. And then uh, it's a part of Vesta's sustainability journey. Maybe you could show me more and show me also how it's equipped. Yeah, of course. We have uh, the racking system here, where we have the uh, materials, the tools, yeah, mm -hmm. and uh, different machines here. We have access to drawers here and uh, easy uh, with, with our bags. Looks heavy. Yeah, <laughs> a bit. Um, and of course the charging system for our tools. Okay. So a lot in there and I'm really curious and I would love because the weather is nice yeah. and maybe I could see more and you could show me around. Yeah, of course. Perfect, then let's yeah. go. Yeah. <laughs> And here we have the whole wind park, all wow. the way over there. It's huge. Yeah, quite big. Maybe it's possible. I would like to see one of those closer. Of course it is. Cool, then let's yeah. go. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Four meters. I feel so, really yeah. small. Yeah. <laughs> so but tell me, what would be the normal work procedure now? Uh, normally we would unload the car now and then uh, drive it to a safe distance mm -hmm. and then we can start with the crane operation. So okay. one guy go up and I'll stay down. Okay. And is there also like maybe something that people normally don't know about the wind turbines? Well, a small fact is that the, the nose cone will always point to where the wind is coming from. Ah. Oh, I didn't know that, yeah. but it makes sense because they are all showing to the same direction. Exactly. I have one more question. Yeah. Can we have a look inside? Of course. Really? Yeah. Oh, you cool. can do it. You can just, uh, you need to take your gloves on. Okay. Yeah. Then we will put them on. Yes. Oh, now we're inside. Yeah. That's crazy. It's pretty big. Uh huh. And we have the lift there. Okay. And then, of course, the stairs over here. For the lazy people or the more <laughs> physical people? <laughs> well, the stairs is most for emergency, okay. um, but sometimes you have to use it. How long would it take to actually go up to the top? Depending on the physical shape, but like five minutes plus. Wow, okay. Yeah. That's an exercise actually. Yeah. Crazy! Yeah. But thank you so much. <laughs> Well, that was such a cool day. Thank you so much, I've learned a lot. So could I hand that back to you, the helmet and the glasses? Absolutely. Then I leave you working and I have to continue my journey. Thank you so much. <laughs> so nice journey. Thank you. It was a pleasure meeting the two of you. So you too. Thank you, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye. 
Ja, ein aufregender Tag geht zu Ende und ich nehme so viel mit. Vor allem habe ich heute aber richtig nette Menschen kennenlernen dürfen und vor allem einiges gelernt. Zum einen natürlich, dass Vestas bis 2030 klimaneutral werden möchte, mit der Hilfe von insgesamt 5000 Fahrzeugen. Und dass so der id bus Cargo für die Servicetechniker nicht nur einfach ein Transportmittel ist, sondern viel mehr. Sie haben manchmal ihr Office da drin, verbringen ihre Mittagspause, aber es ist natürlich auch ein Warenlager. Ja, und für mich persönlich ganz spannend war, dass es dann natürlich in so einer riesengroßen Windturbine einen Fahrstuhl gibt. Ich meine, zum Glück, wer hat auch Lust, da diese ganzen Leiterstufen bis oben hin zu laufen? Ja, jetzt heißt es aber erstmal zurück nach Deutschland und ich würde sagen, fangen wir jetzt mal los. Ja.